going to try another mosaic. So when I was doing that first mosaic, I discovered when I clip a, one of the glass tiles with the clipper, it leaves an edge that's ragged, jagged or whatever. And uh, there's a machine, a sander, if, I guess it's, it would be called, but you could smooth that edge, but I don't have one of those. So I was thinking because the tiles are left that way with that ragged edge, it would be perfect for Johnny. So I took a picture of Johnny and I traced it and then I took it down to one of the, the printing shops and they printed off a big huge picture for me. So I'm gonna try to make a mosaic of John. So I got everything prepared by taping the picture down and taping that contact paper upside down so that the pieces would stick to it. Then I thought about Johnny. Okay, wiping the tears. Um, here I am adding the tile tape. I flipped everything upside down and then I pulled the contact paper part gently off of here, rolled it off, I guess. And so now it's upside down and I can just flip flop it over onto my prepared board. I prepared the quarter inch plywood by coating it with a glue and water mix that I let dry overnight. Uh, this is supposed to keep any moisture from seeping into the wood. I guess we'll find out. So here I am putting on a coat of thin set. The tile tape wasn't holding the super small pieces very well. So instead of flipping the mosaic over and losing some pieces, I decided to flip the board over and attach it that way. And it worked. Well, Johnny's try, yay! So I want to grout it, but first I want to cut his shape out a little bit better. And 
This is with plywood. So I think I'm going to use the jigsaw. This jigsaw didn't work so well, so I ended up taking it to the scroll saw, which worked perfectly. Don't know why I didn't think of that to begin with. Here he is, all cut out and ready to grout. I chose a brown colored grout, which I think a lighter color may have turned out better, but live and learn. I mixed it and let it sit for five minutes or so. Then I peeled off the tile tape and a few pieces came out of the thin set, but I was able to glue them back in place with some super glue. This is the scary but fun part, adding the grout. I let that sit for five minutes or so again, and then I started cleaning it off. Johnny's done. Yes, he's done! And I went around the corners and I just smoothed up some of that grout with uh, some sandpaper and it made it nice and smooth and stuff. And now I'm going to wipe it down with this wet rag and mosaic that I did where I put the grout in there. So thanks for joining me everybody and we'll see you next time. Bye!